How you guys doing? It's your boy Supremo here. Getting it done one more time. Today is a cardio day rest day. I'm at my third cardio session because I'm increasing so much. So why the calories, mainly protein. Carbs still low today. Second day in a row for low day of carbs. But tomorrow will be, you already know, refeed day. And I'm getting a lot of questions about my refeed day. Like why is it that I'm getting so many refeed day consecutively in a week? And again, as I explained them, you want to know what is it that I'm doing, how is it that I'm doing, and the reason why it's working for me. Get your copy of the protocol where I lay out for you the formula in which you should follow each step of the way to be able to do the same thing. So you could continue to burn fat and get some muscle. But I usually like to have to answer that question between two to three refit night, depending on how I'm feeling energy-wise, I'll have three. My set to go will be two, and it will vary per week, which day I'll have it. This week will be Wednesday, and for sure Sunday. I might have something else Friday. I still gotta see how I'm feeling after tomorrow, towards Thursday. Then I'll decide whether I wanna have that Friday refit day again. Progress continue to be good, no solid. And I'm able to eat as I wanted it. As you saw the previous video from the weekend, if you have not seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Post this video when you finish this video. Go ahead and watch the video which I recorded on Sunday. And I show exactly what I was eating the whole day each meal that I have and it was good amount of meal and it was food that you guys like to eat started with pancakes and french toast and stuff like that and then and again in the night was some protein bar and then the pizza and that didn't end up then I mean the pizza was like around 12 so again if you have not seen the video go check it out so you can see exactly what I ate on that refit night and I have a video, I also included the image in which the progress that I had the day after the refit night, which was great result. Still looking lean and mean, and again, the natural way, which is more important. Now, I want to talk to you guys about a lot of misconceptions that I'm seeing online now. A lot of authors out there or YouTubers that are Loading videos, and they have been loading videos for many years now, I guess, and some time. They just uploading a good amount of videos stating that the best three exercise to make this world the best take exercise that people should do to get your chest big, or the best of the best of the best of whatever exercise or whatever body part that they're talking about to make something better now. That is a big misconception because there is no best thing to do on a specific exercise for, to make any muscle grow better. That's a lie. There is a more efficient way of doing things and there is an okay way of doing things, but there is no best way of doing things because if their way would be the best, and they've been doing it like they showing in videos that they doing it consecutively for years. So then their figure will show that they be three times, ten times, whatever size that they are currently. But the result is totally incorrect because they look the same way they've been looking at for more than ten years. So I wish that their best way have yielding no type of any result, but they telling you that is the best way. They're only doing that content to get views because the result doesn't show that the method that they're speaking of 
it's actually worth even doing. There is a good way of stimulating the muscle, good way, a more efficient way, and there is the okay way of stimulating the muscle. Regardless of which simulation that you're gonna do, the muscle is gonna get stimulated. And then, based on your eating approach, the results will happen. Either you're gonna grow the muscle, you're gonna store, or you're gonna lose the muscle if you are a deficit. You gotta understand that. But there is no specific exercise that would target a specific muscle to grow 100%. There is no such thing. Because the muscle is still gonna get stimulation depending on the amount of weight that you do and the time of the tension that you keep that muscle on. And that's the main point that most of the people gotta keep in mind. So, for good exercise or great exercise stimulation, you wanna stick yourself with compound moves. Compound move, why compound move? Because the compound moves is we're gonna recruit more muscle fiber at the same time. And again, also gonna start to work your assessing muscle and stabilizing muscle that you usually don't use when you're doing most of the isolation. So the more muscle recruitment that you do, the more hard your you, you body gotta work, so the more calories you're gonna burn. And since you're already stimulating a lot of different muscle fiber, then the overall growth and framework of your muscle gonna be way better. Better development, better striation, better concentration, and better muscle pump. And if you have a good eating regimen, then most likely that with that stimulus, it's gonna create the muscle growth. So, when you see somebody posting a video saying that this is the best three exercise that everybody should do to get a bigger bicep, a bigger chest, a bigger legs, be careful with that because most likely the person talking do not know what they're talking about because there is no best exercise overall. Everybody gonna go through a whole different session or routine and their result is gonna depend on how much weight they're using and the type of nutrition they're doing and how much rest are they getting to recover the muscle. Know about the best three exercises that they're talking about. And if you pay attention, most of these people that are saying that, are eat, and they, they talk about that they build the muscle. They either look like they don't even train because they say they, build, they got muscle but they, they look skinny. The only thing that they do have is that they might be shredded. But then again, how did they got that shred? Nowadays, everybody's on PEDs, remember? So you better off assuming they didn't get it the natural way because that's what most of the people are doing. They not legitimate enough or truthful enough to come out clean and stay there. And then you got the other individual that are used up and then they look real big, right? strong but they stay the same thing so you know that whatever they say they don't even apply it because even when they do in the way they don't even do much of a heavier weight which is for me nonsense so I guarantee you none of those two individuals are the one curling the 80 pound dumbbell I tell you they're not they're not the one doing 315 on a regular for bench press, and they're not the one squatting 505 on a regular. They're not. Those are not the people doing that because you could see even the way that they're lifting when they're doing the video is kind of like, what? Not even a warm myself for somebody, right? Now, when I'm here trying to show you, if I ever get to show you some of my workouts, I won't be doing the baby weight so you could see how the exercise do. No. Even, even when I was doing my photo shoot for the book, I was curling the 60 pound dumbbell. And the, the photographer was telling me that, dude, nobody comes for a photo shoot and try to do heavy weight. They do usually the 25, 30 pound. But I'm saying, I'm not here to really straight purpose. I'm here to execute. I'm not trying to make it look. I'm not trying to make it believe. I'm here to do the way that I do. And if you get the copy of the protocol book, you see that the dumbbell on curling for the picture itself is a 65 pound dumbbell. And that dumbbell, you know, trying to keep that dumbbell up, squeeze, as the guy throw a picture, it's kind of difficult to do. 
So I'm not for illustration of purpose. I'm an execution of purpose. It's not an expectation sport. It's a contact sport. And most of the people do the video and content for expectating so they could get some view. But they don't even do or practice the thing that they say that they do. You gotta keep that in mind. Most of the people that say, yeah, looking like they work out, but they really don't got no muscle, but they keep talking about they build muscle over the year, but they really don't look big. And then, those who actually look big, they don't even lift their weight. So it's a misconception. But you gotta keep your mind on what is clean and understand that most of the people say what they say to get some view. So, to summarize, there is no best exercise, three best exercise, ten best exercise that you should be doing to grow one body part. It's a combination of all of them. And stick to compound move and you could combine it with some isolation to get a better result. And you should also be combining higher repetition exercise with lower repetition exercise. Increasing your weight as you go and as you progress. All of that in combination with your eating regimen will yield you the best result. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't to get more comments like this and more educational. And when I keep uploading on a daily basis of the progress I'm getting. And get your copy of the protocol book if you haven't. Get what is that? discount price for all of you to make sure you know exactly how to get to the best body that you could ever possibly want and that you've been desired all this year and for those who want to take their supplement to the next level check out the people powerleadernutrition.com one of the highest quality in the market at a great price that you deserve and i catch you guys later